the bird bath has a cool ice layer on it. I'd love doing this. How's it going guys? I just wanted to take you around and show you some different fall projects you can take care of right now. We had a couple of pretty hard frosts that took out our annuals and are telling our perennials to go to sleep. So there's some things we can take care of and clean up for the winter to prepare for next season. So let's go. All right, and remember your pruners when you're doing these jobs, they come in handy for a lot of them. Uh, just make sure they're sharp and clean. One of the things we can do right now is clear out these zinnias here. They start to die off from the frost we had coming through. And what I'm going to do is just cut them down and lay them where they are because they have some nutrients that they could give back to the soil. So they'll kind of act as a mulch. Maybe I can weed up around them a little bit, but I won't worry about that too much until the springtime when the, the weeds really start coming back. Have these tomatoes here that are pretty much beat up from the the frost as well so I can clear those up and get this ready for a spring planting another thing we can do while we're out here is walk through these sunflowers and try to collect some seeds they've pretty much gone through their entire life cycle and I should be able to collect some seeds to plant next year with them so we'll do that See, these have been out for a bit, so we'll check the heads and see if they have any, have any left. Some of the, the birds probably got a lot what was here, but there, there's still some seeds on these that we can, uh, we can save. Some of these should grow really well next year. I could wait and save the seeds from these zinnias. They might be ready soon, but um, I think that I will experiment with my mulching method lettuce over here still thriving in the cold weather so it, we have a, a good warm snap coming through the next week so they should take off some tree pruning fruit tree uh, perennial native tree any any tree you have around that you want to uh, groom to grow in a healthy healthy style we're gonna come through and snip some of these crossing branches and and other things off of this uh, crab apple tree he might have gotten beat up by the heat, but he has new sprouts coming in at the bottom, so I know part of it's alive, and I think pruning it will make it healthy. The tree I can prune is this peach, and I have a another peach over by the berries. All right, so I've already got this raised bed somewhat cleared out. I cut the, the okra and squash at the roots. I left the zucchini in there, thinking that it, it might just survive the frosty hat but it is not looking good so I'll probably take him out of there soon but yeah as you can see it's pretty oh pretty cleaned up I touched the zucchini it was all slimy and I don't want to cut those at the roots if you're planning on putting plants right into that again uh, you want to give it time to break down and add nutrients to the soil so if you were planning on planting into this right away you just pull them up roots and everything but um, since this is going to sit for the winter I'm just gonna leave the roots in the soil so you'd probably want to wear gloves for this since the squash has spines on it that'll kind of irritate your hands it'll definitely irritate mine but I'm not too worried about it right now I just want to get this nasty thing out of here right at the roots and it's easy as that I've gone ahead and prepared the bed for winter. I put some good potting soil from old seed starter, start seed starting mix in there, and some fertilizer, and some that leftover uh, plant matter that we cut out of here originally, and put a layer of grass clippings over that. So this will all break down really nicely, make really good soil. Beneficial microbes and fungus. Love that. There were some ants here we had to get rid of, but hopefully that's taken care of. 
We have our berry bushes over here by the shop. I moved them from the house. I think they were getting too much uh, sun and not enough water. So I think over here they'll do a lot better. And they're starting to go to sleep. They, they already look better. The blackberries are at, adding more green foliage, but they could use a pruning soon. Raspberry could use pruning. And then my strawberries are actually doing pretty good in this bag. So I'm going to leave these over here, let them get rain as irrigation, and hopefully they'll be a lot healthier next year. So you can see I decided to plant these raspberries that I have back here by the berry tree line, and somebody already found it and messed it up. Pretty sure I know who it was. Golden dog. But, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna put in another one right next to it because I knew something like this would happen and I want to have two in here just in case. this pecan tree that I got the spring I got a few other ones and planted one here but it died so I think I'll try again with this one and maybe take better care of it and see, and see if that would help <laughs> 